everybody and welcome back to Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, Jack and Larry still in Lake Jackson, and this one's coming from my little guy in the kitchen, but it's going to be amazing, man. Tried this years ago, right after Hurricane Ike, and me and my buddy were starving to death, we found a place, but I'm not going to get into that story right now. But shrimp and grits, I know it just makes you want to crawl inside your own skin because it sounds weird from somebody in the South to have grits with anything other than sweet. Savory is excellent. Before we get into it, be sure to like, share, subscribe to all the YouTube stuff, get the little notifications, ring that little bell over there, and get a heads up when we do these as close to Tuesday and Fridays as we can. Also, there's a link down to the doodle for our merch. I'm, I even used a spoon in this episode. So, <laughs> we're a small business. Let's just get into the food, man. Okay, first, you're gonna need one of these pounds of the shrimp. Uh, I got the extra large ones. They're peeled, but they're already cooked. You can get the uncooked ones. It just takes a little longer to cook. You're gonna need some cheese. Got some extra sharp cheddar and some uh, mozzarella, but you can use one or the other. And I'm gonna dress it with a little bit of Parmesan, but that's completely up to you. Whatever cheese you wanna use. I'm gonna use a lot of garlic and some green onions because they were sad and in my refrigerator and needed to be used. Uh, you can use regular onion. You're gonna need some grits. Some regular old, like, quick five-minute grits is fine, or just whatever grits. I think they usually take, like, 28 minutes if you don't so that's the thing i'm going to use some of this blackened seasoning stuff that i picked up from zatarans just for the uh the shrimp stuff and then the old navy seafood uh garlic and herb stuff for the grits and then we're going to dress it with a little hot sauce because that's how i'm doing it now you can use butter or grease or oil i'm using bacon grease just for my own thing here or you could use i mean like i said sesame oil anything but you're going to need about a tablespoon of that stuff so get you a pot put it on about medium medium high you can need four cups of water and because I'm padding out the video, I'm going to show you each of the four cups of water. Now you want to bring that to boil. Usually you want to do the grits first, then work on the shrimp later. But for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to do them both. So get your strainer and go get your shrimp and go ahead and pull them out and rinse them. You don't have to just squash all of them, but just get the funk off of them. All right, now the first thing, you want to pull off the skins, legs, heads, and tails. Now the tail is the tricky part. Just squeeze it at the base and it pulls out all that meat. You don't have to fight about it. Get that done. Uh, don't wash your garlic, which is going to need to peel it, but wash your onions. Those creases and leaves can hold dirt and you don't want to do that. So get you a nice sharp knife. We're going to just chop these down small. Big, it's up to you. you. Don't have to be professional. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, be very careful, especially with these sharp knives. Shout out to Andy for the sharp knives. And just throw out the uh, the little rooty parts. Now, once you get your garlic skinned, I can do a whole video on how to skin the garlic. I've uh, touched it over on TikTok, but that's up to you. Now, the garlic, you want to just kind of chop it down as thin or as fine as possible. I try to cheat and do a lot of them at once. It doesn't quite work all the time, but just keep running the knife back and forth. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's cooking. So get you a decent skillet. Mine the bologna burn stain on it from the video from a few weeks ago. Put it about medium, medium high. Put it on about a five out of nine. Uh, you want to put uh, about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of whatever oil you're using. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and throw in my garlic and onions. Now we're going to just saute these down until they're small and getting very aromatic, which is nice. Uh, if uh, you have uncooked shrimp, go ahead and uh, uh, you're going to stop until about halfway here. But once it, they're already cooked here, just go ahead and add them here. You're just going to heat them up and make sure they're cooked all the way around. Just give them a nice stir in with all that and then add you just a teaspoon of your blackened seasoning here you can add salt and pepper to your own taste but i know people as soon as i serve them will add their own so i always just do it differently so just get that teaspoon of that stuff stir it in get a nice stir and just bring this all to heat all right doesn't have to be perfect especially if you get the pre-cooked stuff that's already peeled it is so much easier than actually doing it yourself uh if you're doing it yourself just get them to where they start to get pink you know they're not like overly done and super stiff and chewy and stuff you want them uh, I don't even know the internal temperature of shrimp, but you want them to get them where they're nice, pink, and solid. That's what you're shooting for, okay? Just get that nice and done. Uh, keep an eye on your water. You still got to bring that to a boil. I turned mine up. I, I, I can't help you. I'm not going to lie to you. So I just made sure my shrimp is there. Going to go ahead and turn it down to a simmer. Just let it sit over to the side. Just keep it warm. Right? Put all the vegetables in there. Give it a stir every now and then, so it's not bad. So once you start to get a decent boil, put one cup of the grits to your four cups of water. Give it a decent stir. You can use the same spoon because it's all going together in the end anyway. So just give it a nice stir and let that come to a decent boil. But keep stirring it. You don't want to burn them on the bottom. They tend to sink. It's kind of like uh, noodles. Like <laughs> It'll still be hot, but they'll just sit at the bottom and just burn. So I got them in here. It's getting nice and thick. Took it about three minutes. Just decent stirring, sitting over heat. Now one cup of the sharp cheddar one cup of the mozzarella doesn't matter if there's a big piece where it melted in the texas heat just go ahead and put it in there it'll melt down anyway so i'm just going to add a generous sprinkle of my old bay garlic and herb seasoning to the grits and cheese here 
and then give it a stir until it nice and melts down. Like I said, that big piece is just going to melt down with the rest of it because this is very warm, so be very careful with it. Go ahead and turn your heat down a little bit if you need to. But just stir this in as the cheese gets melted. It's super thick. It smells amazing. It tastes great, but uh, this is very hot. You taste it now, you're going to burn your face. <laughs> be very careful. Again, you don't have to use two different kinds of cheese. You can just use two cups or whatever cheese you want. Um, I think most of the recipe is just called for uh, cheddar or American, which I would hate to do this with American. Once it gets nice and thick and everything's melted, shut it off and they're going to plate a little bit. I want to show you a little bit of this. Look how thick these grits and cheese are. Just bleh. And the lumps are generally just big pieces of cheese that are still melting. Uh, sorry about the focus here. It just kind of wanders off. But it's just reminding you that these are grits over in the corner that that part's in focus. Uh, just put it in whatever plate or serving dish you got here. And then you're going to, oh, yeah, you can get our custom Living Between Paychecks spoon down in the uh, doobly-doo. we got a link down there for those things. People were saying I don't really use them in the show. So uh, I'd like to use the wooden ones mostly just to keep, you know, the ancestors at bay to keep them from eating me or coming after me in my dream. So uh, so when I get a chance to use it, I do. So get you some shrimp, put them right on there. Make sure to get some of those greens, put it on top. Again, if you, if you i got friends that are allergic to onions, so you can leave that out. There you go. And just a pinch of Parmesan on top or a whole lot. Uh, and if you're going to feed it to somebody, wipe the stringy cheese off the edge of it because it just looks weird. But there you have it, man. Uh, I don't know about meal prep because I'd hate to reheat shrimp during the week. Uh, mostly because the people in the office will get mad at you, but this is amazing. This is really good. Again, I was super shocked to imagine grits being savory, but apparently it's a thing in the rest of the world. So you've got to try this, man. Trust me. Like I said, it was right after Hurricane Ike. Me and my buddy found a place that was open. They were serving it. They said it was the best thing ever. And I was like, don't care. It's, I'm hungry. It's a discount because your uh, freezer was off for a while. So we tried it. A little bit of adventure. And oh my God, it is absolutely good. And it's super simple to do at home and under budget, man. So give it a try. Let me know. And there you you have it folks uh it's the best way to do it without bacon so uh that's totally up to you but if you do it differently you want to see us do different let me know put it on the comments that's what they're there for also you can find us on social media tell me about it over there facebook pinterest patreon with all those of them between paychecks kitchen We're also instagram them between me osmi nerdy i'm on all those including twitter and over on tiktok usually just talking action figures miniature painting or larping so prepare for the nerd apocalypse over there but yeah i will see y'all next time enjoy the food man this stuff is good